And joining us now with more is Dr. Casey Burgett, Legislative Affairs Program Director at the Graduate School of Political Management at George Washington University. Dr. Burgett, great to be with you today. Uh, the clock is ticking for lawmakers to reach a deal in Washington. What's the likelihood, do you think, that it, they will come to an agreement and avoid a shutdown? Almost 100 percent. I, I really struggle to say 100 percent because, you know, everything can happen. But really, it, this is this has been written in the stars for a long time, despite having this more high profile drama between former President Trump, members of the Republican House. Uh, but really, we all knew that this was going to be ultimately a continuing resolution after the election and mostly going to be a completely clean continuing resolution, though there are going to be some additions added in, as the lead mentioned, with Secret Service and a, and a few other items. But this will happen and it will be uh, done before the government shuts down so all these members can go back home and, and campaign. All right. Now, if it does happen by any off chance, uh, tell us what happens to the government and services that it provides and also who's impacted by the most. So if a government shutdown does happen, and this should be said, too, that they have to have contingency plans for a, an impending shutdown. So even if it doesn't run out of money, a lot of these agencies are making contingency plans by law or by, by process to what would happen to provide essential services. So folks who rely on the government, folks who visit national parks, uh, any sort of entitlement that is not written within the actual program, a lot of benefits are, are affected here. To say nothing of just the uncertainty that it causes not only with the broader economy, but within financial markets, it's just a mess that causes costs a lot of money to a lot of people, and it just simply doesn't need to happen. Yeah, and as we heard from Erica, this version of the bill does not include the SAVE Act, a proposal former President Trump pushed for. How do you think that's going to play out for Johnson and House Republicans? Not fun, right? I mean, this was always going to be his rock and hard place where he has to appeal to the former president, given his sway over the Republican Party, particularly for House Republicans. But he knew this was never going to pass the entire House, and it was going to be stymied in the Senate, let alone uh, vetoed by a Democratic president. So this is why I said that this was all written before the, the play actually uh, opened up its blinds and, and played out. We knew this was going to be a CR, but he had to do the political process to satisfy those in his membership, including the former president to say, hey, we fought for this stuff, but we just simply didn't have the votes. Yeah, we know there's a lot of deal making always going on in Washington. Will the speaker need to lean on Democrats to get this passed? Absolutely. This was going to have huge bipartisan majorities. That will be true, depending if they get through the Rules Committee, or they might even bring it up under what's called suspension of the rules, which is basically nerd talk to say, hey, this is non-controversial anymore. Let's just rack up the votes, and you'll see a huge amount of Democrat support there. Once it reaches the Democratic Senate, it will get a huge bipartisan majority there as well, and then President Biden will sign it almost immediately. All right, final thoughts on this. Again, this was the process that we see out play out. We get the drama associated with it, but we all knew where this was going to end. Speaker Johnson did too, but he's just really fighting a lot of different parties, even within his own singular party. He has to make sure that he see, uh, shows them that he's fighting for what they believe in, even if he knows it was never going to pass in the first place. Right. This is what frustrates people with politics, and I get it. Yeah, and we're going to leave it right there. Dr. Berger, great to be with you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you.